Hello and welcome to today's video on how to import 3D SketchUp models into Cabinet Vision. The ability to import 3D models is afforded to Solid Standard, Drafter, Advanced and Ultimate. Today we'll be working within Solid Ultimate. To begin, it is suggested that you find a reliable source for 3D models. A great website to utilise is 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com. This website boasts a large variety of 3D models that you can download and then import into Cabinet Vision. This DeLonghi toaster will be our example model that we shall import today. There are many methods to identifying quality models to import that are both high in quality and are not too large. The reason behind this is that if a model has an exceedingly high polygon count, it will draw on excess hardware resources on your PC. Once you have found the model that you would like to import, you can identify the information relating to this model on the right hand side. We can see that the poly count for this model is at the 10,000 mark, which means the model is of good quality but not too large. A good number to keep your polygon count below is 35,000. Models with higher polygon counts tend to cause difficulty once they are larger than that size. When we are happy to download this model, we need to ensure that we download it in the SketchUp 2014 format. This will ensure a seamless import. From inside Cabinet Vision, we must import a model whilst inside a job. Navigating to the ribbon bar, we select Utilities and then Import SketchUp Model. Navigate to where you have saved your SketchUp model so that we may import it inside Cabinet Vision. If you are greeted with this warning, it is simply indicating that there is a high polygon count or faces count contained within this model. Pressing yes will now import the model. We are now presented with the model import dialog box. The different parts of this window are as follows. The view mode selections being wire mode, fill mode, and solid render mode. This controls the look of our model whilst in this view. We have flip controls which adjust the alignment of the model. This helps if the model appears upside down or in the wrong configuration. Typically these models are at a one to one scale of what they have been drawn to replicate. The most critical part of importing a model is the part type allocation listed within this selection of the dialog box. Type allows you to select Cabinet Vision part type to associate the imported part to. You must assign a part type to each imported layer, material or component. This is achieved by selecting each layer, model or component on the left hand side, then assigning a part to it. Each layer, material or component can also be assigned a texture map and or smooth surface and single face option. Assigning smooth surface means that your model will smooth out all faces giving a less faceted appearance. Texture map relates to how a texture will apply itself to that layer. These examples show what each texture map represents. The single sided faces option can be used if your imported model appears distorted or incomplete in the preview window. Selecting Advanced, we can now choose how we want the model's entities to import into Cabinet Vision. For this example, I have chosen All Entities, which will be indicated by a lot more items listed on the left hand side. Ensure that you assign a part type to each of these items. Selecting Type, you can specify, using the Part Classification windows, the Entities Part class. Further options are found in the drop down here. Depending on what the model creator has specified, the layers may have descriptive names or may refer to a particular colour. We can see that this model has had some layers and colours applied to it when it was created, which translate to how it looks in the preview window. Pressing save, we will now define the model's name, description, as well as placement properties accessed in the advanced menu. We'll classify the object's name, class and placement. We do not wish to add any additional preserves. Once we are finished in the advanced box, we will specify the icon for our model and its catalog where it will be saved. We can press OK and then exit on the SketchUp model import box. 
now we are ready to select our object from our object catalog and place it within our job. After placing this object inside of an existing job, I have rendered it in PhotoVision and achieved a high quality render. Further colour changes can be made to this object by selecting it within a job, individually selecting a layer, then adjusting its properties by right clicking. By adjusting these settings, you can modify the colours of your 3D models, parts and layers. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have enjoyed learning the process of importing 3D SketchUp models into Cabinet Vision.